so I realised it's been like ages since I made a, a video. Probably like a month of that, so really it's not that ages for me. But I've been on summer holidays, so I've just had a mass amount of spare time to make videos anyway. So I thought for the rest of the holidays as I actually have nothing to do apart from possibly go to Glasgow and do nothing there that I may as well just try and make as many videos as I can like different things as well because usually I just do musically stuff but today I thought I would do I would do a vlog so first of my vlogging -ness is a it's a story well it's a couple of stories leading up to one really quite odd story so I've always thought that kids love me way too much and everyone else has been like oh yeah whenever I'm on the bus and stuff kids just stare at me but it's not it's not like that it's so much more extreme like I've always had children just stare at me but now it's got to the point where it's just plain creepy so I've, I've got three stories I'll go in order of how creepy they are the I was in Florida like a couple of weeks back and I was in this mall and there was this little girl and she had a she had a toy doll with her or something and she dropped it and then she picked it up and there was loads of people sitting around in this mall and of all the people that she was going to give it to she picked up this doll and came over to me and my friend who I was sitting with was just quite scared so that is slight proof that children are obsessed with me my second story is that one day I was just on a local high street sitting at a fountain on a bench and this little girl came up to me put her put her hands on my knees and pushed herself up so she was sitting on my lap and I was just like whoa what the hell are you doing child and then I'm presuming her grandfather or something came up and like apologized for it and stuff and it was it was really awkward but I guess it was okay but then, uh, so that that story was, it was c capable, like I could deal with that situation again, but my, my oddest story of why children are obsessed with me is that the other day when I was in an airport in France, like getting a, I was having to stay about in this airport for four hours, waiting on a plane to get back to Edinburgh. So. And my parents were like totally jet lagged and stuff, so they were trying to sleep. But I didn't want to sleep since it was during the day, and I thought that would like screw up my sleeping pattern. So I was just lying on one of these couch bed things, and I got bored after like an hour of drawing on my hand and stuff with Sharpie. So I decided to lie upside down on this couch bed thing because it had like a raised up end seat bit. So then this little boy came up to me and just stood and just stared at me right in my face just stared at me so I said hello and they said hello back and I was like oh at least he seems quite nice and they started talking about planes and I was like yeah there's a lot of planes here we're in an airport and he seemed pretty nice but then for the next three hours every five minutes he would run down the stairs and whisper something to me and then run off and like I was really tired by this point. I just had like an eight hour flight. So I was I was really tired and really pissed off. So I, he stopped running down the stairs for like 20 minutes maybe. So I thought, all oh, good, maybe he's got his plane. I can, I can go to sleep. So I started going to sleep and then I heard him running down because he was wearing flip flops. So every time he was running down the stairs, I could hear him. So it, I heard him running down, so I thought, oh, I better like chat to him and not be mean so like I turned around and then he just stood there again so I said hello because he was right in my face and then he just kissed me he just kissed me on the nose and I was like um okay then and then he ran off and I never saw him again if that doesn't prove that children are all oddly obsessed with me I have no idea what does it's got to be one of my weirdest stories in life. It was, it was so weird. 
And there you go. You get to hear my great story. Only three people have been told that story so far. So you should feel very special. Just my parents and a ah, friend type guy. So there you go. You get the special insight into my life of scary children. See, I wonder what will happen if I have kids. Like... No, how kids are, they're obsessed with their parents anyway, but like, how scarily obsessed will they be with me? I'm actually quite scared. I'm glad that is a long, long way off. I'm not looking forward to those days. Anyway, there you go. That's my great story of why children are oddly in love with me. I was intending to say two things in this vlog, but then now I've realised that my storytelling took quite a while, so I'll just make another vlog with my other thing, which is about movie titles which sound like porn. <laughs> I love how I'm going from talking about children to porn. So there you go, watch my other videos and stuff. Feel free to like and subscribe. I don't think I've ever said that at the end of one of my videos, but there you go. Feel free to like and subscribe and if you're on Facebook, join the Minus the Orchid group thing. So, there you go. I'll just drink my tea.